Hello, and I don't know why I do that. Hello, and welcome to a different video today. Now today, we are up against the white wall, and we are going to be starting a potential new series, okay? Now, I'm gonna take stuff that I find it grinds my gears somewhat. You know, the things that people do, and we're just gonna have a little chat, all right? <laughs> now, from the title, I think I've, I've made it goodness me, or something. So, it'll be like, goodness me, hashtag one, or something. That should be, yeah. And then, if we continue it, you know, I'll do it, I'm not saying I'll do it every week, but I'll do it every uh, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Depends on how you like it. So, yes, we're just gonna talk about some stuff that revved me up, and have a little, have a little natter, have a little chin wag. One of those. Okay, let's get into the video. I've wrote a list on my phone. Uh, we're gonna cover four things, okay, today. We're gonna cover four... <laughs> so the first one, okay. Now, especially if you're in the UK, okay, yeah? We, our bus service, okay, is run by a thing called Stagecoach, okay? There's our public transport and all that, lovely. You've been on a public bus, you know what it's like. Anyway, there's a little thing, okay, that seems to occur. When you're at a bus stop, or at a bus station, okay, and the bus is running late, so you're sat there, you, you, you know, you're just like waiting, it's like, where's this bus, where's this bus, gotta do this, gotta do that. And then there's always one person, okay, who suddenly becomes the stagecoach buddy bus expert, okay? And they come out of nowhere and they just have all the information, don't they? They just have it all. They're like, they, they swan in and it's like they've just been promoted to like travel manager at stagecoach, I swear. Where do they get this information? It's so confusing. They just rock up out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, so we're looking at, uh, you know, they broke down about 20 minutes ago and all this and a replacement's on its way. It's like, this person needs to get in a bus right now and drive us home because they know what's going on, okay? <laughs> the second thing, this ticks me right off, okay? This one is one of the worst, I swear. So if you're a dog owner, you'll understand this, okay? If not, get yourself a dog and this will happen to you. <laughs> so what you're doing is, yeah, so you walk in your dog, you're down the seat, well I go down the seat from around to the park or something, and you walk in your dog, that's your little bit of, you know, alone time. It might be the way that you just kind of relax at the end of the day. Let's go for a nice walk on my own, listen to some music or something, you know, yeah, all that. But there's always one old lady, isn't there, who just wants to know everything about your dog. <laughs> they come along and say, ah, oh, what's his name? They always say, what's his name? It's like, mate, take a look under there and you won't see a knob, all right? <laughs> my dog is a girl, okay? She gets this all the time. So, Ah, oh, what's his name? And you have to do the classic, well, her name is Lexi. And that just, oh, that sets me over the edge, to be honest, because you have to take your headphones off. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's like, yes, yes, she's a girl, yes. And then you go, oh, how old is he still? It's like, I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> why do they need to know everything about your dog? <laughs> it's just stupid. They're like, why does this benefit you in any way? This, like, this doesn't help my day, it doesn't help yours. It's like, my dog's standing there, she has to stand still and deal with this. She wants to go running about, mate, and you're stopping this. And they're just like, ah, oh, name, wait, what day did it have its last... Uh, uh, period, what? <laughs> I don't know why they do it. It's like, do they have too much spare time? Like, why do you feel the need to trouble me? Yeah, that one, that ticks me right over the edge. And I'll imagine there are people who can relate. <laughs> now this one. This one's another bad one. <laughs> now this one, I found out this morning, okay? Well, realised this morning, realised, okay? And it's how goddamn loud seagulls are, okay? Now, if you're in the UK, and especially along the coast, you'll know how annoying, okay, seagulls are. They are ridiculously loud, okay? Normally in the countryside and all that, they, oh, you just go out, oh, it's peaceful. You wake up to like flutes or something. You wake up to <laughs> Gamer all day on his trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that clip actually kills me, I swear. So I get up, I get up at like six, okay? I get up at six and they're just screaming their heads off. They just get on the roof and they're just like making a load of racket. It's like, why do you feel the need to wake up the whole neighborhood at this hour, <laughs> okay? They must just think, they're like, oh, okay, 
It's five in the morning. I think everyone needs to get up now. Ah! <laughs> that was the worst impression of a seagull I've ever done. And they're the queen bird as well, so that means we can't kill them at all. Oh yeah, we can kill a pigeon, yes, we can kill a crow and all that. But the worst one is that overgrown white chicken. Well, chickens are white as well, but... <laughs> I swear, if you've ever seen our seagulls, they're big. We're talking a whopper here. Like, this big. At least this big. Wingspan, they just fly over your head and they nearly knock you out. If you've got some food, okay, they stare you down. They sit there and they wait. <laughs> I'll tell you what. They scavenge beyond belief. They're, like, a pigeon is like, LMA, mate, hello. You go, yeah, what you got? And he's just like, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, give him a little kick or something. Give him a little one. And he's like, all right, all right, I get the message. Seagull, so though. They're bloody tough, aren't they? They are solid, mate. The ones where I live, I swear, I'm scared of them. They're, they're the thugs. They walk around in gangs, you know, clicking away, just, you know, intimidating the locals and all this. It's just, like, ridiculous. And we're not allowed to kill them, because the Queen just goes, I kind of like those for some reason, because they represent the country. It's like, no, they're vermin. And, like, get rid of them now. This last one. I have to just uh, jump onto the old internet. This is like four seconds long. Okay, so this one. This one's disgusting. Okay. It's when guys lip bite. Bloody chewing on your face is supposedly attractive these days, okay? When a girl does it, it's, you know, we're just like, we, we kind of just like, a whole like head just it goes into our neck and we're just like, hello. <laughs> but when guys do it, this is weird, and these pretty boys think they've got it all, and they just lit by it, and he gets, how many views? 54,000 views. On a four second video of him biting his lip. Wow. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna, we're gonna watch the video, okay? I can't do this. <laughs> Have you seen the title? <laughs> Chris Collins, lip biting sexy boy. <laughs> Why? Why? For the love of God, do you think that's acceptable behaviour? <laughs> the girls are all like, oh my god, look at his jaw, look at his nose, look at his eye bone. <laughs> I just, oh my, I despair. I despair. Anyway, <laughs> that's gonna wrap up the video, okay. Yeah, so that was fun. Just uh, talking about some stuff that, uh, yeah, that ticked me off. Yes, we're going to wrap up now, okay? And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then uh, in the <laughs> drop it down in the comments below. You know what to do, and we will we'll jump back on this white wall. We love you. We love you, white wall. <laughs> Have you seen me? Look at the colour of me. Jesus, I look like a skid mark on the wall. <laughs> like I say, if you like this video, you know, like the video and all that. And yeah, I would like to do this again. And if you want this as a series, you know, let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely do more of these. Look out for Wednesday's video, because that is going to be a reaction video, finally, of one of my friends. I'm not gonna say who, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, you know, if you like the video, like the video, if you wanna subscribe, subscribe. I've been Mush, he's been D. This has been bloody... <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Because <laughs> that's so sexy, isn't it? <laughs> see you later. Like, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>